today this read is going to be on the Jameson family. This is a family who went missing um, and the whole family uh, is missing. No one knows what happened to them. So I'm going to look into their case today. This is the Jameson family. legacy, a bond, and sacrifice. So legacy is something that's passed down from generation to generation. It's your children, it's your namesake, it's what you're known for. This bond is meaning someone that you have love for, someone that you have a close relationship with. Sacrifice means you give up something or someone for something you want. Or something or someone that you want. Okay, so now we have this legacy connected to this son. Okay, so you have a legacy here with the son and then time. So time means the timing of an event, um, the time span, the time something happened, or planning of a time. So there's something with the timing here or over a span of time concerning the son. The son could be the legacy or the this could be the legacy of um, this son. Then you have this legacy here, material things. Material things could be money, anything that you can hold into your hand, house, cars, property, whatever. So there's a legacy and material things. So it's something going on with the legacy of this son and some material things. Now we have someone that they have a bond with. For someone they have a bond with that's guilty here and is connected to some material things. Then here you have molest and suicidal. Molest means um, sexual, physical, emotional abuse. Suicidal means that you're doing things that will lead to your death or it means that you commit suicide and then you have sacrifice. So there, uh, someone made a sacrifice, um, they, or they sacrificed someone because of there could have been some type of abuse going on here, and also this person could have committed suicide, or they did things. This could be the thing they did that led to their death. If anybody knows anything about the Jameson family, let me know. I don't. All I know, they went missing. No one knows what happened. that are not clearly seen or this could be at night time someone or something is being selected 
so someone or something specific and reunite someone wants to reunite with someone so there were some things that were not clearly seen or hidden in the dark someone was selected to be reunited with so they chose someone was something or something someone or something was chosen but there were some things hidden in this reunite so they got together for a reason but the, maybe the reason was unknown or not clearly identified So now you have two faces, two minds, and this means that this is someone who's holding two energies or this is a twin. So this is a person who has two different sides to them. It could be a fake person, but it could also be a very intelligent person who doesn't show their intelligence. Maybe they may act like they don't know what's going on, but they really have a lot of intelligence or wisdom but they don't use it in the right way this is something being taken into the body ingested into the body so something was ingested into the body this could be an actual food drink drug something was ingested into the body so some things were hidden something was ingested into the body and this is a person holding two energies for this like I said, could be twins. So some things are not clearly seen, or this could be somebody moving something at night. So this could be somebody, this is a vehicle or someone being transported. So this, they could have moved at night, like all this movement happened at night. Then here you have an altercation here. Somebody is being moved, or it could have been an altercation in a car about something or someone specific. So it was something in particular that they were having a disagreement about, either in moving someone or something, or in the car. Then you have this mom, someone is reuniting with the mom, but there was some bad, like a fight, or this could be somebody battling something. So a mom could have been battling, reuniting with someone, or this could be an actual physical fight with with someone um, concerning the mom that they were trying to get back with. So now you have some things hidden here in the legacy. So some things are not seen or clearly seen or unknown here about a legacy. Like you don't know the full picture concerning this legacy. So the legacy, like I said, can be a child or something that you know for somebody like you probably don't know all there is to know some things are hidden about someone's legacy who, what they're known for and that's probably true because here you have a person with two different energies so there may not be some things known about this son because this son is holding two different energies And see, somebody did took something into their body. They ingested something. And this could have been over a span of time. So somebody could have been giving someone something over a span of time. Or the timing that they gave someone something is significant. And then you have here somebody transporting something or someone connected to some material things. So somebody could have been moving money, somebody could have been moving objects, somebody could have been transporting someone somewhere because of some material things. But this transportation is connected to some material things, and that could be money. 
or anything else that you can hold into your hand. So somebody is guilty. They had a disagreement about something, an argument, but somebody is guilty of something. So they either had a disagreement about something someone was guilty of, or someone is guilty of starting an altercation. Somebody's blaming someone for something. Okay, and now it's someone they had a bond with. They chose this person for maybe because they had a bond with this person, or the person they had a bond with chose to do this to them. Because see, we have a son, we have a mom. But see, this could, this is concerning the whole family. So there could be a lot of things going on here. So now we have molest on this mom. So somebody could have been physically or sexually abusive, emotionally abusive to this mom, or this mom could have been doing this molestation. Molestation is not always sexual abuse. It's just any type of abuse. See, now you have someone doing some suicidal things or committing suicide because they were battling some things internally, emotionally. They could have had a valid uh, illness. They could have been battling some emotional issues, okay, psychological issues. They could have been battling that. You see, this person was doing some suicidal things or this com this person committed suicide because they were battling something. So you see, they somebody consumed something. And here you have Somebody is sacrificing someone or something in order to be reunited with someone. So, so either someone reunited with someone so that they can sacrifice them. Like they were going to meet these people because they had planned to do this. Or someone sacrificed them because they wanted to be reunited with someone else. chaos, someone wants to leave a situation, and we have, um, okay, this is chaos, this is someone wanting to leave a, a situation or be alone, go their own way, and this here is somebody wanting commitment or seeking commitment or committed to a cause. is an illness or disease, someone being guarded and someone being restricted. So see, if somebody could have been battling some suicidal thoughts, so this is this illness or disease. And there's some chaos concerning that. So now you have someone using a weapon. Someone has some type of illness or disease. So somebody used something to fight um, or to um, control an illness. So some, somebody was struck. A weapon is something that you use to control someone, or this is an actual weapon. So somebody could have been trying to control a disease or illness, but there was a lot of chaos surrounding this illness, or this illness caused a lot of chaos. So here. You have a secret admirer who is guarded or scared. See, this person could have some type of fear, so they're trying to protect themselves. This person wants to go off on their own. They want to be alone, be in solitude, be by themselves, or go off to themselves. And even though they they like someone, they're kind of guarded, guarding themselves. Here you have someone's job or employment. Somebody's committed to a cause or to someone. This person is restricted. 
in some way. So you have someone being restricted and then their job and someone committed to a cause or, or committed to something or someone. So this person's job was to either confine or restrict or this person was designated to stop or restrict something. Or well, this person could have been working uh, in um, like a correctional officer or something because their job was to confine or restrict, keep people confined or restricted. See, they're committed to this. They're committed to that cause, so they're committed to doing this. They dedicate their life to doing this. Okay. Then you have this person here. I mean, they like someone. But they're guarded and so they want to go away. So they have secret desires here to go off to themselves. Because this can be you secretly, secretly admire someone or admire something about someone or something. Okay, I already said about that. So this is the Jamesons. Try to put that all together. Let me know what you think in the comment section.